co-host the live right and subscribe yeah my kids right behind me on the couch uh like the third take because they wouldn't quite they wouldn't quit talking so yeah i'll be quiet all right let's do this so uh what we're doing right here is some analog summit we're running out to the uh, art pro channel and running through a barrage mixer and through a uh, fast track pro so you know we got a couple outs there running uh everything into our drum bus then we run our drum bus up into a splitter we merging it left and right basically and then we sending it out through one channel sending our drums and our music out set the channels coming back in one two into the mixer so that way basically Okay, and so that's hardware device down there. So when we get ready to run any device to it, which is what I did, I ran everything through it. Just trying different ways of doing this. I do it several different ways. So we just ran what we wanted in there, uh, basically each bus. And this is what we got. Let's go to seven. We got these two, which were slightly different takes. A little effects on it from the Behringer mixer and stuff like that. I like the quality. People say, you know, not great this and that to me. I'm listening, and that's what it's about. All right, check it out. We're going to give you the beat in pieces. Yeah, it's called Jump Side, too. Just something I made, man. So let's go and check out what happens on the second side with the alligator dog. And for a second, I'm going to jump over there. I always change, don't I? Let's run to that alligator so you can see what's actually happening. Oh, let's put up yeah, hold up. Girl, be quiet. Let me do this. So, you see, we made the um, whole thing. Yeah. There's quite a lot going on. But the point is, we are out of automating that. See, to change the patterns. To change the whole. We'll change the patterns from one and two. So, that's pretty easy. Alright, let's go back to seven. We're going to go and give you some more to beat. We're going to run through the beat. Thor. She says Thor because I, I did it too. And that's the reason Strange I stayed. No, I actually had. Uh, let me give you that. I don't know if you can hear that. But um, let's give you the whole thing now. Uh, well, that's the John. So, uh, sorry about that. That's with the eyeball. Alright, so you get a feel of it now. Let's listen to it. This is one of the albums. One of the ways I saw them, the, the more you see, a little bit better compressed or whatever. With A and B, that. See, it's a lot bigger than me coming off the eyeball. Now let's check the uh, other one out. I started playing with it. Check it out right here. So, you know, to me it sounds, uh, I like doing that. What I do is, like I said, I run out my out my uh, Fast Track Pro into my Behringer Mixer. Two channels because they mono. And then I got my uh, preamp now plugged in as an insert so that I can send both signals left and right to them, match up the channel so I'm getting an equal, you know, situation coming back in left and right. And that's kind of like how I sum it. I, don't, I do this at the very end, usually the end of the entire project. I know it's what it is. And uh, when you sum it, just in case you didn't know, let's go back to five. You cut that off. So let's cut that off. I'm sorry, that wasn't fair. Let's do that one more time right quick because you can't have that bus compressor on and check the sum inside out. So this is what it sounds like. Now you tell me which one sounds better to you with it. With it summed or uh, coming straight from regions. Uh right subscribe, cold heart is a lie. I appreciate my kids being quiet. Uh, my wife laid back there. I got a new kid on the way. Uh, congratulations to the world for a king to be born. 
He already got one king and a princess out here. So, yeah. <laughs> Cold Heart is alive. Rate and subscribe. All right. What we're doing right here, this is all about the bass. Right quick, we're going to do something about the bass, and we're going to do something about stacking your vocals. All right. So this is the bass. Bass without effects. Drastic change, right? So what we do to it? Common sense, what we did to it. We put the screen for a tube on it. Come on, tube out. Just a little body for residents to make it seem like it's a, it's recording a cabinet. Oh, yeah. Then we went on to got EQ. We boosted it right there. You see what a boost that. What is that, actually? Yeah, that's not the boost. That's not the boost. Yes, it is. 16 dBs, man. And we subtracted 8 from right around the 2 area because I don't like to put a lot of bass right where my voice need to be. That don't make no sense if you done mixed a song before. So... Yeah, by my third tutorial or not, I be sounding very intoxicated or high or whatever people be saying. But uh, it's not that. It's just I'm going through some things right now. <laughs> <laughs> my wife be want me to do that all the time. The more I do this, eventually I'm going to see I have a very, very different personality. All right, back to the point. All right, on the, um, what is that? Oh, the bass amp. After all of that, just to boost it on up a little more, let's hear it as we break down these three parts. Bypass and bypass. Just the screen. Got an EQ on it. Give it that horn sound. Like a filter, actually. A cone filter. Let's just give it a little more uh, accordance. Our actual word would be distortion, basically. All right. On the mix bus for the drums, all we did was thin that bottom out a little bit more, thin that top out, and uh, throw a maximizer on it. We did not throw that uh, effect comparison. We actually say that for the vocal bus on this one. Constantly coloring so many of the same devices. It's kind of like, see, we put the trident on that music bus, and on the parallel chain for the drums, we used that Rough Rider. I like that rough rider. Right That's a nice little plug in. Uh, rack extension. My bad. Alright, let's go over here and let's check these vocal stacks out now. Um, we're gonna play that back again. Pretty much just the bass line and the vocals. Oh, we bring the drums in. Okay, let's bring the drums in. We can play with the parallel side of it. Alright. the stacks out. So you can hear it without the stacks. Just a single one I did. The I'm about my business till I'm buried. I'm about my business till I'm buried. I'm about my business till I'm buried. I'm about my business. Till I'm buried, I'm about my business. At the next one, as you see, I'm uh, panning the first two very drastic wide. Alright, then you see the next two we're on 13, 13. Just very, very wide field what we were trying to create for the hook and a narrower field for the verse so you got that depth again. When you hear the whole song together, you'll get the feel of it. See, we filtered off. I like to jump off subject. See, we filtered off everything vocally. Everything is filtered vocally. Duh. Not so much videos on a lot of the other stuff. A lot of these instruments right in here kind of only came through a certain element, so I wanted them wide open, no no point in hogging frequency. That's my daughter. <laughs> uh, so, next we're going to finish the vocals out. Lord, please help me, Lord, Lord, please help me, Lord, 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 please help me. I'm about my business, I'm about my business, I'm about my business, 
sit in the arm, bro. I want to know that I live this life fair, but the first is the nothing way to get to heaven. No, don't watch this get there. They have no rope, no ground. You feel me? I'm coming down. I don't want to be one of the lower class in heaven. You get it, man. But this life that I lead is so triple. The Bible is full of baby rivals. And this world's a weekend, and I gotta get it. Well, now that I get it, it means that I'm so expensive. They call it easy. I right, appreciate you for listening. Check it out. Uh, what we're going to do is strip it down first. Just to uh, leave vocal without the EQ. Let you hear how that EQ definitely I'm losing my soul to the wrong one. Yes, I know that he fell down from heaven. And just so you get what that filter's doing. Another big part of the SSL, I'm going to try and drop you tips on that actual mixing desk. Another big part of the SSL was the filters. They were saying the fact that they were very, very, I guess, good filters. I don't know. Very accurate filters. Warm filters. Distorted filters. I do not know. But they're supposed to have very good filters that were actually very closely replicated in propeller head software. And I do use filters heavily. You got to use them. But specific on your focus, so let's see how this sound without a feel. And then that's what I'm trying to go when it's all over. It's very over. drastic. Down, bro. I want to know that I live this life fast enough, but just enough to make it to heaven. No, don't want to just get there and have. I wanted it to sound a little for the track. Each track should be done different. This track, I wanted it to sound more gothic, so that's why I actually boosted 13k and not at 2 dB. You see, you pulled out a little 300. And 60 or whatever. Boosted a little 3K. 337K or whatever. But we holler at y'all. Seven minutes in. Call house live. Ready to subscribe. Um, I hope I'm giving y'all something. If not, y'all might tell me something. I'll give you something. And you talk about what you want me to talk about.